Max Payne 3 was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. But those aren't really relevant because today we'll be playing it on this thing. I call it the Magi System. Released in 2012, to mixed reception, most would agree that Max Payne 3 is the worst. But is it really? Are these people blinded by nostalgia? Was the first game and second game really better than the third? These are things that we will explore in this video, maybe, I don't know. Um. <laughs> what is this? The script? Fuck this! Right off the bat, Max Payne 3 makes a great first impression with this menu and UI. And it's different every time because as you progress through the game, the background image changes. Not to mention the music is excellent, sounds great, and it's a really good rendition of the original Max Payne theme song. Very good. I like it. You fuckers! You pieces of shit! You fucking die! The story follows our hero, Max Payne, as you might expect, who now suffers from severe depression and alcoholism, which I can relate to personally. So me, I, uh, ma oh Max, Max, my, me boy, Max. Our main character struggles to move past the death of his family that occurred in the very first game. And in this opening sequence, Max is basically lying to himself and saying that this is a new start to his life. But you can tell that it ain't gonna be that easy, Max. As far as graphics go, for a game that came out in 2012, I say that it held up pretty well. And there is a problem though, the pre-rendered cutscenes look kinda shitty and grainy. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I guess they had to make it run on computers that weren't really capable of, you know, high-end 60 FPS shit and stuff. And the motion capture looks really weird too. I mean, look at this, look at Marcello. He's dancing, prancing around like a faggot, and he looks like a goddamn robot. It's scary. I don't like it. I don't like it. Get it out of here. Grow up. One thing I forgot to mention is that this game takes place in Sao Paulo, Brazil, instead of the New York, New Jersey area that we're all used to. That's good, that's fine and dandy. I actually like this setting quite a bit. I'll go into more detail later, uh, and stuff. But let's move on to the gameplay, okay? Now, the gameplay hasn't really changed much since the last two. You can still use bullet time to own these these plebs, these these rookies and shit that don't know what they're doing. Fuck them up real good. But they added a cover system, and I think this is one of the reasons people don't like Max Payne 3 this much. But the thing is, you don't even need to use the cover system. It's completely optional. If you know how to play the game good enough, you can just run and gun your way through the whole thing. And I like that. I enjoy running and gunning. I do it all the time. And, um... It, um... But about the game, yes, I, I... You also run and gun in the game, too. It's great. I'm halfway dead! So this fucking dumb bitch Fabiana gets captured by Fab the fucking Commander Sombre. And Max Payne's gotta jump in like a big bat biggest dick badass and, and shoot shoot him. Save the day. There's not really much else to say about this level. Game's basically showing you the ropes, showing you the mechanics, how to take the cover, and how to make the shooty McShine gun, the 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 murder, and then that's basically it. You you run around and you do the murder, and it's good. There's these things in the game called clues, and you can click on them, and Max will say stuff about them, and I guess that was to to give it a closer 
relevance to the other games. But you see, in the first game, if you pick up a clue, they give you a whole comic panel. And it's like a whole minute worth of Max Payne dialogue, and it was awesome. It was great, and I liked it, and I, I liked it. Shh. <laughs> so before we finish this level, we gotta rescue Rodrigo from from the the uh, of the fucking sub Commando Sombre because because he's a little bitch and a little bitch and a little bitch. And look, I ain't a violent guy by nature, but I really enjoy murdering people in this game. It feels really good to murder people in this game. It's probably it's, you know, the shooting physics feels real good, real responsive, real realistic. It's great. And, and, uh... It's basically, Max saves Rodrigo and saves the whole day because he loves all people, regardless of race or ethnicity, because he's a good boy like that. Thank you.